In this video, I'm just cleaning up the excavation around the top of the cistern and shooting elevations again to make sure that I have the milk crates. I need to do a fourth layer in the cistern and uh, confirm that the elevations still work, which they do. And what that means is that my cistern will now be almost 2,700 gallons instead of just 2,000. Uh, and that'll be a big help in the summertime. So, uh, this is fun. And now I'm testing uh, leftover scraps of liner to use as a bib liner to hold water over the cistern uh, because I think it will look better to have some pooling water and streams on top than to just dump the waterfalls you know, into the gravel where they disappear immediately into the cistern. I always thought that was a weird kind of unnatural look. Uh, I'm also pulling every milk crate from the top layer and reinforcing them with one inch PVC to add some rigidity to the surface of the cistern before backfilling the top layer to lock everything in. And it turned out that I didn't quite have enough milk crates to complete a new layer, but I solved that problem with some plastic pallets and large cobble that I had laying around. So two plastic pallets stacked up are almost the exact same height as milk crate. The uh, outdoor chairs set up around the pump vault are there so I can uh, just get a feel for what it will be like to sit in that space. Uh, I'm planning to place a lightweight movable fire pit over top of the vault to disguise it, uh, and that location will have a great view of the whole backyard.